looks like there is no end in sight to excess precipitation that has visited misery and grief to millions in the Visayas and Mindanao regions, drenched by the sheer line induced calamity. 167 locations in the Visayas, Mindanao, and the Bicol region are awash in rain and flood waters that our Kenneth Pashenta hashes over in this report. Following the inclement weather and continuous rains over a wide area of the country, particularly in the Visayas and Mindanao, there are places in different regions that are still flooded. In the report presented by the Office of the Civil Defense, 167 areas are reported to be still experiencing flooding, most of them in Region 8. Floods are still being experienced in some places in Region 9, Regions 6, 3, 5, Mimaropa, and in Barm. With this, more than 100,000 families or more than 400,000 individuals have been affected by the bad weather. More than 2,000 families are presently staying in evacuation centers or are staying with their relatives in nearby towns. Based on the OCD report, the floodings caused millions of pesos in damage to agriculture and infrastructure. Some places have also declared a state of calamity. Meron na po tayong uh, apat na areas na nagtala uh, nagdeklara na po ng uh, state of calamity. Tatlo po diyan ay sa Region 8. Yeah, yun nga po ang uh, San Miguel sa Leyte, Dolores sa Eastern Samar at Gantara sa Samar po. At uh, yung isa naman po ay nasa Region uh, 10 po. Uh, yun nga po yung uh, sa may Tubod, Lanao del Norte po. Pag-asa explained that the rainfall experience in some areas in the country was caused by the combined effects of the shear line and low pressure area. Normally, ang dulo ng shear line ay isang low pressure, no? And the um, tendency minsan in some rare occasions, ka ang shear line kasi, it's a boundary of cold and warm air. At karaniwang kapag tumatama dito yung mga low pressure, yung mga independent na low pressure, may tendency ma-absorb na nitong shear line o tuloy ng humina dahil sa pagpasok ng malamig na hangin na siyang isang component nga nitong mga shear line. The OCD assured their continuous cooperation with government agencies like DSWD to ensure that help is delivered for affected individuals. Kenneth Pasyente for the Nation.